Hello and welcome to Maltbox, the non-chill filtered whiskey blog. I'm Andy and this is whiskey review number 100. It's finally happened. Can you hear the applause? No, me neither. It's finally happened guys. Whiskey review number 100, something I should have achieved probably about 18 months ago. But never mind, we're here. We're here now. Number 100, three digits, get in, next milestone, a thousand. So, I did say that I would be opening something today um, to celebrate. Um, and so it's something that I've, I've not opened before. It's a whiskey that I have tried before, but obviously batch variations and all that, but I've never reviewed it. Or have I? I'm joking. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to review this. It's a litre bottle of the Queen Margot three-year-old from Lidl. And the thing is, I'm going to drink it all in this review. It's going to be amazing. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I've already reviewed that one anyway. Now, what I'm actually going to be reviewing today for you guys, and what I will be popping the cork on, is this. The Glendronic 18-year-old. In all its glory. So, oh my god, I've been looking forward to this. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that. <sighs> the Glendronic Allardyce, 18 year old. Non chill filters, natural colour, and would you look at that colour? Bottle at 46% from what has become a stalwart of the Highland whisky scene. Here we go, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't speak French, but sacre bleu. It's like oil coming out. Out of that bottle. You're not the cork. Where's the cork? There's the cork. Now. The Glendronic 18 sits alongside its brothers, the 12, the 15, and the 21 Parliament. Um, I'll be honest, prices have increased of late. I picked this up, uh, it's been a while actually, I'll be honest, it's been sat on the shelf, I've just not got around to it, because I've, I've got like three bottles of 15 on the go. Um, <laughs> oops. Um, this now will set you back, um, depending on the shop, uh, about 90 quid. Legit, like about 90 quid is what you're looking at. In fact, do you know what? Should we have a look? Just see what some, some shops have it for, because I know some are ridiculously overpriced. I'm looking at you, whiskey shop. Holy shit. Well, funnily enough, at the moment, at the time of this review, the whiskey shop had this on sale at £88.99. Um, Master of Malt, £104.78. The whiskey exchange, £105. Okay, so it's gone up even more than I thought. Um, I did not pay that for this about a year to 18 months ago. Was it about a year ago I think I got this? Whatever. So, okay, let's rewind. This will now set you back, when it's not on sale at the whiskey shop, £105. Jesus, wet. What is, what is the world coming to? Lovely, deep, copper goodness. I mean, can you, can you get, like, golden brown? I don't know, because that's, that's beyond copper to me. Oh, right. So again, bottled 46%, natural colour, non-chill filtered. Here we go. Ooh. Now, bearing in mind, I've just opened this, so this is not going to be a relevant reflection, I guess, on the, on the whiskey after it's been open on your shelf for three, four weeks, if it lasts that long. It's a bit slow to come out. Again, I've just opened the ball, so I'll give it another swirl. I mean, while that's opening up, I guess, um, given it's a review number 100, 
I did say that I would be running uh, a giveaway and I am doing that. So if you head over to my Twitter, I will have a pinned tweet on there so that you can see how to enter it. It will literally just be a case of following me on Twitter, subscribing to the channel and uh, someone will be picked at random. Uh, what I'll be doing is I will be including a t-shirt, one of the model box t-shirts. Um, you basically just tell me what size you are and I'll send it. And, uh, and also uh, five drums as well um, that I'll pick from, from the collection. And they're not going to be big crap ones, let's put it that way. So, happy days, here we go. It's incredibly sweet. Chocolate and tobacco. Medjool dates. There's a bit of a savoury edge as well, actually, like Marmite. Oh, I love Marmite. It's, it's got such a nice body to it. It's not, it's, I mean, it's heavily sherried, right? Let's, let's face it, it's heavily sherried. But the sherry isn't overpowering it, if that makes sense. It's not cloying, it's not too dry, and it's also not too sweet. Got like toffee in there, maybe fudge, something like that. I think fudge, it's a bit denser. There's something kind of fruity on there as well. Um, what would that be? Possibly raspberry jam, maybe, or maybe cherry cherry jam, if that exists. Like cherries in syrup. There's not too too much spiciness going on, but there's a nice kind of background of nutmeg and pastries. Maybe cinnamon buns, actually. A little swirly cinnamon buns. Oh. When you put your nose in there, that is like just somebody welcoming you with open arms. It just brings you in and just makes you feel all good inside. Oh. Carrot cake. Nice. Bit of carrot cake. Right, I better, I better move on to the palette on there because I'll be here all night otherwise. So, Glendronic 18 on the palette. Oh. Right, gorgeous mouthfeel. Absolutely gorgeous mouthfeel. It's so oily, it's so thick, it's it's kind of it's locking my jaw together. So I mentioned potentially a bit of like toffee or fudge on the, on the nose. Pure fudge now for me on the palate. It, it, it was definitely fudge. I'm then getting honeycomb. And honey. I'm getting biscuit. I'm getting cake mix. Like Christmas cake mix. One of those very atypical heavily sherried notes that you usually see in whiskies, Such as the Glen Farkless 15. Fruit cake and things like that. We're getting, we're getting raisins soaked in brandy. Again, kind of an atypical sherry uh, profile there. But all the while, you've got this really nice, deep richness to it. It's just so well balanced. It's so well balanced. There's Jamaica ginger cake in there, which again is something very dense. I think everything that I've said so far just alludes to sort of like the feeling and the texture of this whiskey and the experience is just so dense but it's so divine it's like it's one of those things like you know when you, when people tell you you know Andy you should eat more salads which they do sometimes you just think I don't care I, I want to sit here and eat this entire fudge cake and I'm going to do it because I want to do it I know that it's not good for me I don't do it because it's not like a spinach smoothie. I know that this is not good for me, but I will do it because I want to do it. This is exactly what this is. This is not a trial. This is not a tribulation. This is just a pleasure. It's just so rich. So, oh, 
figs, dates. There's some, what is that? Brandy snap, bit, uh, like little basket things. Now what I didn't mention, which I probably should have done, that this has been matured in X Oloroso cast, so this is purely Oloroso, a bit like the old 15 used to be. And you'll notice, so the Glendronic 15 was the revival. Glendronic Allardyce, and Allardyce is named after James Allardyce, who set up the company. And it's not a story that I went into in the 15 review. Um, so basically, at the time, back in the 1800s, it was kind of difficult going to sell your whiskey to people because there was quite a lot of distilleries around. A lot of them, you will see, were formed, you know, 1860 and 1870-something and, and whatever. Um, so James Allardyce ended up treading the streets of Edinburgh. And basically, he met some ladies of the night. Um, and I don't mean like Barbara and Sheila, who just hang around at the bus stop drinking white lightning. Um, I mean, you know, prostitutes, basically. Um, and uh, and he, he saw a bit of an interesting marketing strategy there because nobody was buying his whiskey and he was gutted. He was like, do you know what? I make some good stuff here. Um, so he basically agreed with these prostitutes for them to use his whiskey uh, for their customers. Um, you know, if they'd had a particularly fruitious evening, um, eventful night, shall we say, um, you know, and, and, and their customers would, uh, would want a, a stiff drink, drink, um, then um, the whiskey that they would provide them with would be Glendronic. There you go. Just to be clear, that there's, I'm not sure that still happens, particularly at £105 a bottle. <laughs> you know, the margins won't, won't be great. Mm. Just going back to that nose then, my God. That Jamaica ginger cake's there. And there's actually quite a nice cleanliness to the palate at the end going into the finish. It's still heavy, it's still rich, but it's not it's not sickly. I think that's the thing of this drama. It's so well balanced and so harmonious. It is not sickly in the slightest. And I appreciate that all the flavours that I've probably listed so far sound really sort of like overpoweringly sweet, but they're not. This is a whiskey. I'm a little bit concerned now that I've opened it that I could sit here and just drink a considerable amount of it, to be honest. Although I don't condone that kind of behaviour. I do promote responsible drinking of the right kind of whiskey. I think for me as well, the spices have really started to come out on that, that palette now. I'm making, I, I mentioned Jamaica ginger cake um, on there already. That's still there, going into the into the finish. It's warming, it's a little bit sweet. There's a lot of oak influence throughout the palette and the finish that provides this lovely backbone. And I mean, what a dram that is. Seriously, that is good stuff. The 15 is possibly my favorite whiskey of all time, genuinely that. If you watch my 15-year-old review, the Glendronic 15, you'll hear the full story about why that I, I love that, that drama. It's very close to my heart. Um, and, and this, for me, is again just another part of that story. It's, it's one of those whiskies that I'm not going to sit here and drink every day. I've told you before, I, I set a certain budget of myself, which is why at the time, this did fall within that budget. I think I, I spent about 70 quid on this. Um, about a year ago, if that, might have been 65, and that was full price, um, and, and you know, I mean, now it's, as, as I told you before, as of today, in May 2020, it's 105 quid, uh, I just, I hope, I really hope they don't stop making this, and I really hope they don't mess with it, um, fantastic whiskey. Fantastic experience. This this is really genuinely one of those whiskies that you will sit down with and you will fall in love with straight away, like I think I've just done. And if you've had a bad day, this is the perfect tonic for that bad day.
genuinely. I've had a bit of a bad day and that's made me feel so much better. Really chuffed with that and I'm really glad that I got to share that with you guys. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you to all those of you that have subscribed. If you've not subscribed, then feel free to do so. There's no pressure. If you want to just pop back and forth, that's absolutely fine. Thank you for coming along and watching anyway. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my tag is at Maltbox. I'm on Instagram as well, at Maltbox Whiskey. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.